A city on three rivers, the Monongahela, the Allegheny, and the Ohio. And a city with three Stanley Cup titles, Pittsburgh, where it's a hockey night for the Penguins. A terrific atmosphere for this matchup. Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emery. We feel the buzz inside the arena. We can cut the atmosphere seemingly with a knife. But I wonder, does that affect the players at all? Uh, it does affect the players, Doc. They know it's a big game. First off, because you're here, because everybody knows it is a big game. But there is that time in a season or a particular point where, you know what, you need that energy from your crowd. And certainly you could feel it walking into the building. And certainly it's carried over into the arena tonight. The Penguins fan base knows how important they are to their team's success. And I know as a former player, it's something you can really feel from ice level when the crowd gets really loud. They are so close, and it almost feels like they're right on top of you. And that's what makes this building and this game so much fun to be a part of. What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Affleck 9916. Welcome back to episode two of NHL 16 Pittsburgh Penguins Be a GM. It was a disappointing start to the preseason as we lost 5-0 the first game, I think 5-1 the second game, but we were able to bounce back with a win in a crazy shootout against, I believe, Carolina, so that was an absolutely crazy game. Um, I do have a few things I wanted to say, um, just to clarify from the last video. Um, once we get into the regular season, I will show more highlights instead of just the goals. But being that these games are preseason, I don't want to waste a bunch of time on these. I just want to show you mainly the goals and stuff and just discuss the gameplay a little bit. And I feel like if I do that, um, that should be sh sufficient. And then once we get to the regular season, I'll start you know, going more in-depth and uh, talking about the games. And obviously this is be a GM, so a large part of that is trading. But uh, I also want to focus this series on gameplay a lot, which we will get to that a little bit farther on in the season that uh, maybe start trading you know halfway through trying to make some roster changes but it's just way too early we got to get into the season to see how we start performing as you see New Jersey gets an early goal on a rebound there so we're down one nothing and really uh, it's just still at this point adapting to the game you know as I said it's been a while since I've played an NHL game and starting on all-star isn't easy I, you know I'm probably I'm I don't expect myself to even you know begin the regular season you know as good as I should be playing as you have or Chris Kunitz with an absolutely beautiful rebound goal there ties the game for the Penguins but back to what I was saying I don't expect to be you know super good at least at least to the level that the Penguins should be at first it's gonna take some ad adapting but you know it's one of those things where I feel if I was on pro difficulty level I just win a bunch and not really get any better at the game so I'd rather struggle for a while even though that's frustrating and uh, eventually you know get better over time rather than play on pro which I played two games on pro before I started the series and I won both of them like five nothing and I knew it was just going to be too easy so here we are at the end of the third Penguins trying to get one final chance we get a poke check we're going to try to bring it into the zone and here comes Latang takes a slap shot but he misses the net and that means for the second game in a row, we are going to go to overtime. So the Penguins trying to make it two overtime wins in a row. And it looks like it's going to be our second shootout in a row because no one's going to score in overtime. So here we go to the shootout. New Jersey fails to score. Sidney Crosby moves in. And he's going to get blocked by the goaltender. New Jersey tries to score in the ensuing possession. And they're going to fail here in round two. So Evgeny Malkin with a chance to give the Penguins a lead. He skates all the way to the left. It's a big deke, but he's not going to get it past the goaltender. He was close, but it just failed at the very end. You take another look. Not able to get it by. New Jersey tries to get a big lead here in the third round. And Marc-Andre Fleury with a rock-solid save. He has now saved 17 straight shootout rounds in a row. He's been incredible. Phil Kessel comes in, fakes a slap shot, fakes another slap shot. And he's not going to make it. So another shootout going into sudden death rounds. Here's Letang moves in, and I just mishandled the puck there. Uh, tried to be a little too fancy. We now go to round five. Patrick Hornquist moves in. A good deke, but he's not going to be able to score. We're going around six. Here is Pascal Dupuis. Moves in. Takes a shot, and he scores. Pascal Dupuis wins it for the Penguins. I did not want another shootout going to 14 rounds because that just gets really repetitive after a while. Still a long shootout, but the Penguins win their second game in a row once again in dramatic fashion. Take another look. Pascal Dupuis comes in and just a hard shot wins it for the Penguins. 
Iceberg and the team will celebrate on the ice. Let's go to Philadelphia. In a city that loves its sports heroes, might be one in a hockey uniform tonight. This is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home ice of the Flyers. everyone on behalf of EA Sports welcome to the game and the game is substantial there is no lukewarm feeling about either of these two teams it is Pittsburgh and it is Philadelphia met for the first time back in 1967 doc and I think the more they play the more dislike there is both on the ice and off the ice one of the best rivalries in the entire National Hockey League and when the Penguins play the Flyers, this rivalry between the two cities extends well beyond the ice surface, branching into the football stadiums and ballparks. We can expect all of Pennsylvania to be watching. Playing our arch rivals, the Philadelphia Flyers, this is one of the biggest rivalries in not only the National Hockey League, but, but all of sports. So we'd love a win on the road, but unfortunately, Philadelphia with an early goal and the crowd goes wild. I will say this, I don't have much of the highlights in there, but there was a ton of pushing and shoving and players, you know, nearly fighting the entire game from the beginning, even before the goals, you know, it's just a rivalry. Even though it's preseason, it still acts like a rivalry game. It's unbelievable. Philadelphia, though, with a 2-0 lead, and then just a stupid move by me trying to pass it out. I didn't really know what I was doing there. Philadelphia is going to win this game 3-0. We didn't really have anything going, just couldn't get the offense on at all in this game. So, highly disappointing. We lose this game, but it's time to return home to Pittsburgh. We're going to try to play the Columbus Blue Jackets. Well, we're not going to try to play them. We're going to try to beat them. So, let's see how that goes. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where the pro sports teams wear black and gold. Those are the primary colors of the team calling itself the Pittsburgh Penguins. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro is coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. How does a coach decide and when does he decide about which goalkeeper he plays? Well, I think you communicate with your goaltending coach first and foremost, Doc. You look at your schedule. You look at who's playing well. Obviously, you have a number one and a number two goaltender, but I always like to make sure our goaltender knew the day before so he could prepare well ahead of a scheduled start. It's not only the physical preparation, but the mental as well. It gives them an opportunity to go over the scouting report, know where the shooters like to go on the ice, and give himself every opportunity to have success. Every opportunity to have success. That's what we're trying to do here against the Blue Jackets. Sidney Crosby with a good steal. He passes up to Hornquist early on in the game. Hornquist takes a slap shot, and he scores. And the Penguins take a 1-0 lead early in the first period. A huge goal right there. You saw Pittsburgh skyline at night. It is a beautiful city, I can tell you, because I live there. And Patrick Hornquist with a beautiful goal, assisted by none other than Sidney Crosby. Take a look. He just goes for the slap shot, beats the goalie on the glove side. An unbelievable goal right there. You don't see many like that. But the Penguins lead it 1-0 early on, trying to maybe extend our lead a little bit. Here come the Penguins winning a faceoff in the defensive zone. They're going to skate all the way up, and they're going to move in, take another slap shot. Unfortunately, no goal there. The goaltender's going to pass it out. It's taken back by the Penguins, and then the shot misses. So it goes behind the net. Sutter moves in front, and a backhand, and he scores. And the Penguins lead it 2 nothing. Brandon Sutter took the puck from behind the net, skated around to the front. The goaltender was sort of screening the goalie without intending to do it. And Iceberg and the team will celebrate that one. That's actually going to be a shorthanded goal right there. Take another look at that. Because of the defensive player sort of getting in the way, the goaltender uh, couldn't really make that save. So Columbus still on the power play, though. This is a few seconds after. They're going to try to see what they can do, and they move right into the slot and get a goal. That's been my biggest problem in defense is giving up goals in the slot. But here we are in the third. We're leading it 2-1. to one. And as you can see... Uh, we are going to have one final face off to try to hold the Blue Jackets off for just a few more seconds. We steal the puck, try to pass it down. It goes back and forth between teams, and now it goes to the end. We got an empty net. Can we score? No, but it doesn't matter. We win the game 2-1. to one. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Starting to play a little bit better. As you see, I won two out of the three games, and that's a lot better than in the first video. So in the next episode, uh, we will finish up the preseason, I believe, and then it's time to start the regular season. So make sure you rank, comment, and hit that subscribe button in the upper left corner of the screen if you want to track me and the Penguins 
through our season. For now, we'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Affleck, 9916. Peace.